Hey guys, Gravender here. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Animation Throwdown. And we are in the next leg of the Rumble event. We have not lost a Rumble yet as far as I, I can recall. We are in the 26 to 50 rank. We are a little ways away from uh, getting into the next one. See all rewards. We need 5,000 to get into the 26 to 50 range. It's saying we're already there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I knew we were close. Maybe it's calculating the points that we've already put up for this one. But uh, we haven't lost a single match. You can see that from your matches. We are 7 and 0 oh currently. Not sure exactly what place we're in. We just know that we are in that, that range of 26 to 50. Which is not bad. I mean, I think if we get up one more... We end up getting in the, uh, no, two more, two more. We end up getting into the range where we can get a blaster cord that is uh, at least fused once. So we need to go a little bit more. 6,000 points will get us there. Hopefully we'll be able to make it to that point. But this video is mostly to uh, put out a theory that I've come up with on how to maximize your points the most that you possibly can. So let's do some matches and we're going to put that theory to the test. My theory is you get more points the less cards that the, the opponent puts in the secondary slot. So what we want is cards like Stan, who has a punch that can take out that first card pretty easily. And we'll throw down, which one's the best one with the bomb that we've got? Peter. Let's throw down Peter. And see, we've kept him at, uh, at the one. Now we're going to get... Peter with the baseball and we'll see how many points we actually get 100 okay so that's 100 points we kept him to just one card on the field let's get into the next one and see if we can actually do the same thing if we can't then it might start to prove that the theory is correct we're gonna throw down let's do let's do Louise first and then I'm gonna do the uh, girl next door Stewie. Okay, see they got one card down. Theori theori theoretically, I can't even say the words too early in the morning. We should lose a point due to that. So let's throw down another punch card and we should technically lose one point from this match. So we should be at 99. 96, okay. So my theory proves completely wrong. It could be due to the... Uh, the nature of the cards that go up as well but so that proves the theory completely wrong but it seems like it's worked pretty well before let's try it again and see what we end up with let's what do we got let's do Santa Stewie and Klaus let's see if we can still keep him at bay with the one card on deck and see what we end up with So we had four cards on the field. See, I had still at 100 points there by just keeping them with one card on the field. So I'm not sure exactly what does go into uh, the point system. Maybe it does depend on what they throw down as well as a, uh, a rare card. Let's, uh, let's do Leela because she has payback and none Peggy. Okay, now they made it onto the field with an epic card so maybe that's three points off so let's check it and see once we get done with this one let's throw down ripped bullock and there's a possibility they threw another one on so this one should potentially be a horrible score let's throw down Peggy but yeah this should technically be a really really bad really bad pull on points so let's see what we end up with 96 okay so that's exactly the same as what we got from the very first or the very second one the second match well I was hoping to be able to help you guys be able to maximize your points but I still haven't figured out this system quite yet let's throw down Leela no let's throw down girl next door so we'll get payback and the uh, gas and we'll throw down Leela and death ball 
Now let's potentially, because we've done really good up to this point, let's potentially see if we can end up with a 100 on this one. Okay, 100. Cap them at bay with one card. Maybe it does have to do somewhat with the cards that they end up throwing on the field. Maybe you lose a certain amount of points for each one that does go on the field after their initial card, or after their initial first card. I'm not entirely sure at this point, but that seems pretty logistic. We won't have to worry about that one on this. That should be a 100. No, we got a 99. Hmm. Okay. So it's really, it's really proven to be a little bit weird. But we're still getting pretty decent points, though. If you can keep them to a minimum on what they throw out. Let's put down Roger and rifle that kept them from being able to get anything let's throw down Stan to get a punch off of and now we'll do Alamo beer with him and we still get the punch and we'll throw down naked tug of war bender and that should take care of it 96 okay so he he stayed to one he stayed to one on the field, but we still got 96 points. So that really makes it kind of weird to me on what exactly goes into deciding your point system on this one. I'm going to throw down wrestling and then stand. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's still good. I didn't want to fuse those two, but that's not bad. Let's do naked tug of war. Let's see. We've got three cords on the field. They only had one. Do we still get 100? We do. Maybe it calculates into the fact that we put more than uh, three or four cords on the field as well. If you guys have any idea, any theories on this matter, please let me know down in the comment section below too because I have absolutely been trying to figure this out. And I thought I had it when I decided to start making this video. But now I'm not entirely sure on the matter. We only had two cards on the field that time. Still, okay, we got 100. 100 points. So, I mean, we're still doing good. This is still a, de a decently uh, decently good idea on how to maximize the points that you get. Because there's only been like two that I've got 96 on. 96 is still pretty awesome. Let's go with Stewie. And then we'll go with Leela. I don't think he's going to knock out that Panther Cuddling Steve, but he did. Wingnut. And we'll throw down Peter and see if that deducts any points from us. That did deduct some points from us. Okay. So again, really, really weird on how this system works completely with, with the point systems. Now this is not updated. I am not, uh, I am on the board, but this is not my points that I have currently. I will have a ton more. Uh, I wish there was more people that had like high level points talking in the uh, the guild chat to be able to give some kind of input on what exactly they feel because I mean this guy here these ones here at the top uh, murderous jelly he's got 996 so he only lost out on four points so if they could give us a little bit of input that would be cool if you guys are getting pretty good scores let me know in the uh, comment section down below what are your methods for getting points I mean we didn't do too shabby but I still don't know exactly how many points I got because it's only updates every five minutes. So I'm not going to find out. But we're doing good. We're doing good overall. I wish I could kick some people, but unfortunately you can't kick anybody once uh, once the rumble starts. You have to wait until the three-day event ends before you can kick people because there's at least four people, four or five people that have not participated whatsoever that are going to be getting the boot as uh, soon as this ends. But... Like I said, just let me know down in the comment section below what's working for you guys on how to get the least or the maximum amount of points, rather. And uh, if I find out anything else, I'll let you guys know. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a sub on it. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. Later.